I'm going to show you how to easily get a border radius or rounded corners effect on your videos in Premiere without using masks. So as you can see, we're starting in Premiere with a blank sequence here with just a couple of items in our project. Uh, we're going to start off by pulling in a background for our video. And we're going to grab this lovely time lapse of a road in Russia. I'm going to jump to the 10 second mark and put a cut in there and then drag out our background to match. So that we can see the rounded corners once we get them on there, I'm going to shrink the size of our road a little bit. We're going to round out the edges by applying an effect called Roughen Edges. We can find that by going to Effects, Stylize, Roughen Edges. Drag that out and put that onto the clip that you want to round. Now, Roughen Edges is a very cool effect that can stylize the border around your image or your video, but we're going to be using this effect for the rounding out aspect of it. So coming over to the effect settings over here, we can see we've got a bunch of options. We're going to go through them top to bottom on how we're going to achieve that round edged look. We're going to set our edge sharpness to 10. We're going to set our fractal influence to zero. We're going to set our scale to 1000 and our complexity is going to be set to 10. Now that we have all of the basic settings out of the way, the only one that we have left that we'll need to play with is the border. You can think of the border setting as the actual border radius that we're going to be setting. Let's start us off at 200. As you can see, we've got a nice round edge on our video now. Now the thing that is a little confusing and a little concerning when you're using this type of rounding on the edges is that when you press play and you play through your composition, you're going to see that the edges pop out and they look kind of jagged and kind of sharp. This isn't something that we need to worry about. It's only going to look like that when we're playing it through Premiere. Once the file is actually rendered out, we're going to see these nice crisp borders around the edge. And that's all it takes to round out the edges on Premiere. No messing around with masks, just one simple effect with some specific properties applied. Now I'm going to take this a step further and show you how we can play with the cropping of this video, which is a really nice effect to combine with these round edges. First things first, I think 200 might be a little bit too large for our border radius for the type of effect that I would like to see here. For our animated crop with the border radius, we're going to go ahead and pull in the crop transformation and drag that out onto our time lapse video. And we're actually going to put the crop above the rough edges. That way the rough edges persist after we've made a crop. The effect that I'm aiming to get here is a focusing effect. To achieve that, I'm going to turn on our keyframes for the top and bottom. I'm going to go to the two second mark and I'm going to zoom our crop in. 20% seems about right. Now we have a nice pull in with our crop and you can see that we maintain those nice rounded edges. One other effect that I really like to combine with these two is the classic drop shadow. So we're going to search up drop shadow, throw that on our time lapse. So now we have a nice 3D effect going on with our drop shadow and that drop shadow is going to follow as we crop down our image. Let's top this off by throwing on some text and then we can render this out and see how it looks. That's all I've got for you. Good luck rounding those edges.